Hey, what's up? My name is Adam. In this video, I'm going to cover how to sell digital products online with Kahana. What is Kahana? Well, Kahana is a platform that allows you to monetize your knowledge and expertise, your assets, your files, your resources, all in one place, all for free. In this video, we're going to cover four steps that you're going to need to do. The first one is going to be just updating your profile picture so people know it's you. The second will be connecting to payouts. This is how you ultimately get paid automatically when someone buys access to your hub that you make with Kahana. So very critical to actually get paid and connect that. And we'll go over every single step of that. Three will be creating your hub. Your hub is your collection. It's your repository. Your ultimate pool of resources that people are gonna to wanna to buy. So I'll explain everything about setting it up, optimizing it, and adding content. Four, the last step will be taking the hub that you build and beginning to share it. So how do you get a shareable link? How do you put it on social media? How do you give it to people? We'll cover all that. In this video, I'm gonna help you get started from scratch and get you from point A to point B and walk through every single essential step super fast. Let's go. Start by just making an account. So yeah, just input a password, then I'll log in. I'll just give you a little bit of an overview of what you're looking at. This is the first thing you'll see. So at the very top, we have the home page. Let's, let's click home. Here's the hub that we were just in. There's create a new hub. Then here, there's a learner's hub that I'll click and join. I definitely recommend doing this when you first start out. This hub is moderated and, and contributed to by the Kana team. So we're constantly adding more advice and resources into this hub. You can come in here and get access to tutorials and just kind of get started that way. So the, one of the first things I'm going to do is go to my profile here and change my profile picture. So I'm just looking for the for a good one, the same one I use on YouTube. And then I will go and click save. Now there's some other stuff in here. For example, you can add a bio, a profile background, and different links. And this is gonna come in handy, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. The main thing that matters is having a profile picture. I'm gonna start connecting to payouts so I can get paid. In order to connect to payouts, the first thing I do is click these three dots on the hub. It can be any hub. When you do connect to payouts for the first time, it's gonna let you get paid for every subsequent time. So click monetize hub, click yes. This is gonna take me to the Stripe connection flow. So here we are, go ahead and click proceed. So I actually have an existing Stripe account that I'm gonna use again. And if you have an existing one, you can also use your existing Stripe account too. Just a heads up, at this point in the Stripe connection flow, you're gonna be asked to provide some additional information. In some countries, Stripe must collect and verify identity information for individuals associated with an account due to regulatory and financial partner requirements. This is to promote transparency and prevent financial crimes. If unable to verify your identity programmatically, you may be asked to upload a government issued photo ID through the secure Stripe dashboard. I just wanted to call that out and explain it. Now let's just keep going through the flow. We're at this part here where you're selecting industry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select software, just call it hubs of content. Just trying to describe what I'm actually selling. So now there's an opportunity to choose a bank. Just wanted to give a quick heads up. When you reach this stage and you're connecting your bank account, you have two different ways you can go ahead and do that. The first is by clicking the logo of your bank account through the dashboard and connecting automatically. There's different types of flows that might happen depending on your bank account, but I assure you this works. This is how I connected my account. Second, you can also connect manually by inputting your account number and routing number. Just wanted to say thank you for bearing with me through this part. This is the least fun part of the process. We're almost done. You're also gonna be asked for a couple of more pieces of information about the business, like the address, the contact information, and a descriptor for your business. This is what the customer is gonna see when they ultimately purchase and it appears on their credit card statements. Okay, now let's just wrap this up and move on to the next stuff. You have an option to go contribute some money to the environment 
You can even start contributing after a certain amount of money is processed. For now, I'll just continue and donate. Sometimes you'll see that this personal detail section is pending verification. Depending on how far along it is in this process, you may have to go and continue to submit or provide additional information. As you continue through this flow, you should get to a point where you're able to go back into the hub and set a price on it. The end result is successful where you have the ability to set a price on the hub. So let's just make this a, a $50 subscription. I can You can make it a one-time payment or a monthly subscription. I'll go monthly subscription. As you can see, you need to go check it. And then once you click submit, that part's done. And now you don't have to go connect payouts again. You can go change bank account through Stripe. If you ever want to change that, you would go access it through this manage Stripe button right here. This is kind of what you could expect. It's this uh, account where you can see different sales metrics like gross volume, net volume, new customers, top customers by spend, check your payments, your balances, billing, and more. Big congratulations. This marks the end of the first two steps. Now we can get into the fun stuff, which is creating your first hub in Kahana. Let's go. Let's start to develop the actual product. Let's make a growth hacking resources hub. So I'm always looking for new growth hacking and marketing strategies. And I think this would be a great way to capitalize on everything that I'm learning on a regular basis and let people have access to these resources. When it comes to meta tags, these are gonna help everyone else search for your hubs. So I highly recommend that you add them based on what people would wanna search to find your hub. So growth, growth hacking, marketing. And you can use any like amount of words and you just press enter to ultimately make the tag. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload a dummy cover photo for now. I can kind of show you what that looks like. And I'll just go get a quick sub description. So I just used ChatGPT and told it to write a description of a monthly subscription to growth hacking resources and tools. So I'll save this. And as you can see, this showed up, publicly monetized hub with one view. Great, and so this is a way you can see how many views you're getting, kind of track how your marketing is. When I click it, it'll still be empty. So I'm just gonna create a new note. And this is what people will see behind the paywall. So when I say paywall, this is what I mean. So as you can see, the information that I put in, the profile picture is coming through, price is coming through, and the image is there. It's looking pretty nice. So you can see information here. You can see the information that was uploaded behind. Now there's still stuff here that needs to be added. So let's get started with that. So now I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what a hub is and how like all the things you can do with it like every single button so we'll kind of go through it one by one let's start with the different menus on the side so you can actually change these to either to show or hide depending on what you're doing and your customers can do the same thing so they can navigate the hub this way where they're either viewing the different sides or not there's uploads which can be added by either clicking upload like this, which brings you to your all of the up potential files on your local device. You can also click this cloud button to add content, add YouTube videos, embed links. So when it comes to content, you can add PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs. You can add YouTube videos just by putting the URL in, copy and pasting the URL um, and have, adding a title. Um, we'll get into this later. You can also embed a link, which can be basically anything. It can be a blog post, a Google Doc, Google Sheet, it can be a Notion workspace. Then this is your text editor or your note side. So you can actually create as many of these as you want. Like here's a new note. You can click these three dots to edit the name. So I'll call this FAQ. You can also move around these different notes and also uploads by 
like clicking and holding to grab and then drag like this can go ahead and start formatting so here I'm gonna go make this a header one just make it nice and big then I'm gonna go bold all of these I do plan to have priority support and regular updates so if you do sub end up subscribing to this hub yeah you can expect for it to be reg regularly updated you can expect to be able to get support whenever you'd like when I say support I mean like a comment thread and I'm gonna write a note for so that people can see when they first join see now you can see the comment showed up then the way you access comments by clicking this button here and then you can also view any collaborators. As an owner of the hub, you can change the collaboration features or permissions and roles for anybody. Admins are allowed to edit anything and invite other people as well as control their permission and roles. Editors are able to just edit and not invite. Commenters are not able to edit, but they're able to comment. And then viewers are just simply able to interact and not edit anything. And if you ever want to kick them out, you can do that. Like if someone's causing problems or for whatever reason you want to kick them out, this is going to get, get them out of the hub and stop their billing if they're actually paying. There's more formatting things you can do when it comes to like changing colors of text, changing fonts. Now let's get into doing some uploading. So just gonna grab this Gantt chart template and for sheets you have to make it so that anyone with the link can view then I'll copy the link and go back into the hub then I click the cloud upload button click embed link and then click save and there you can see that the Gantt chart is now inside of the hub. Now I'll show you what it's like to add a blog post. So whether or not you have your own blog or you want to include a blog post from somebody else, you can just grab the link and put it into the hub in the same exact way that you did with the Google Sheet. So you click the upload button, embed link, and click save. This one is a really nice experience. So this blog is built with Ghost and it, it, it just renders really well inside the hub. Just wanted to give you a heads up that we've barely scratched the surface of what you can do when you're building a hub in Kahana. There are so many ways to customize it. I just wanted to give you a high level overview of how to upload things and how to generally begin formatting, but I'm sure you'll discover so many different ways to improve it. Now let's just move on to the last step of the journey, which is simply sharing it on social media. You can get the link to your own monetized hub by just taking the URL here in the top and copying it. Then you can put it wherever you'd like, whether that's your own website, your link in bio platform, social media posts. You can always just add the link to the hub. And then when someone clicks the link, they're going to see the paywall and it's going to load and they can pay. You can also click this button here and grab the link from here by clicking this and it'll copy it to your clipboard. If you go home, you can also find the link to your hubs from there You can click here, click hub sharing, and then grab the link like that. There's a couple more things to note about the platform too. You can duplicate hubs. You can always edit the information like the title, the tags, cover photo, and the description. You can delete the hub forever and you can always change the price. So if $50 is too steep for you, that's all right. I'm gonna go make it $5. So get it while it lasts. <laughs> just to recap, we just covered everything you need to do to monetize with Kahana. If you have any questions or things that I missed, let me know in the comments, please. I'll get right back to you. If you have ideas for more videos that you'd like to see, let me know and I'll make them happen. If you like this video, give it a like. If you love this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And we wish you the best of luck with using the platform and can't wait to see what you create. See ya.